Alright, today we have ourselves a backpack review mixed with a what's in my bag review. A ton of you guys hit me up about this backpack that I was using during the Lake Powell drone rescue mission and I wanted to show you guys this backpack. I've been using it for like two months now. I ditched the Peak Design and Low Pro Pro Tactic for this bag. So I'm gonna show you the bag, but I figured if I'm showing you the bag, I might as well show you what's in it and do kind of a, a what's in my bag video. So this is gonna be a backpack review and a what's in my bag 2020 video smashed together. Real quick though, I wanted to thank you guys so much for ordering so much merch. You guys made the try hard, take chances t-shirt drop you blew it up. You oh, you almost totally sold out the first order. The second batch is already on its way. You ordered a bunch of Be A Good Human shirts while you were in there. And yeah, I just wanted to say thank you guys. It's super cool. If you guys haven't picked one up, first link in the description, you can get yourself a Be A Good Human shirt or the brand new Try Hard Take Chances shirt. I, I'm super stoked on you guys. Okay, onto this new backpack that I've been using. This is the Compagnon Element. I don't know if I'm saying that right. It's a German brand. They're out of the, the Black Forest in the south of Germany. But this is the Element backpack and it is now my full-time backpack. It's, it's the backpack I'm, I'm kind of using for everything. And of course, as you guys know from this channel, I was, oh, where'd they go? I was, ugh. I was using the Peak Design backpack for, for a long time, and mainly because I could get in quickly from either side. I really like that feature. Just a, a good material in general and, and a good backpack. But recently, I actually switched back to the Low Pro Pro Tactic, which I had before the Peak Design, and I switched back to this 100% because of the full back access. I could totally open it up. I can get all of my gear at once. Boom. That's super helpful. And something that I missed while I had the Peak Design backpack. The Peak Design backpack, really cool, but there's no way that you can just go rep and see everything at once, be able to load it quickly, be able to unload it quickly. You kinda gotta do this shuffle through each of the sides. But my main problem with, with the Low Pro backpack is that while it has all this cool mo mole, I think it's called, on the outside, there's not a lot of pockets. There's like this little one up here, a little one up here, and then, and then kinda nothing nothing else on the back, and I really like exterior pockets. So onto the Compagnon, which by the way, opens up fully from the back and has a, a ton of pockets all over it. And I've been using this bag now for, for almost two months, and I have, I have really beat the heck out of it. I've, I've not been easy on it, I haven't been gentle and like trying to keep it like a pair of new shoes. I've really just been laying into it, using it exactly how I want, trying to, to just say, hey, I wanna go do this thing. If that means taking this backpack and chucking it in the sand, then, then so be it. Let's see it how it handles it. And you guys saw me at Lake Powell. I took it out there on the jet ski and we were just hitting tons of waves and I was getting soaked and drenched. And yeah, you'll see which camera I was talking about is in side of it, but we were driving out there for, for that whole hour drive, just getting soaked, and I was going, I, I hope it's as weatherproof as they say it is. <laughs> So I haven't been easy on this backpack at all, but I would say this backpack is, it's kind of the Mercedes Benz of backpacks. So it's very, it's well built, it's very hardy. It's also a little pricey. And today we'll go over the pros and the cons of this bag, but I think the price, it's, it's probably the main con for this bag. Everything else really that I can think of and look at on this bag is a pro and then, and then the main con is the price. All right, first up, let's look at the exterior of the bag. We'll kind of go through the exterior, then we'll open it up. I'll show you what all is in my bag and, and how I pack this thing. But right away, you'll see a big front pocket, which I flipping love. I hate when backpacks don't have exterior pockets. Even the Peak Design has that huge front panel that's not a pocket, and it totally could be a pocket, like this one. Giant front panel opens up. This is where I'm keeping my SD cards, AirPods, a pen and a Sharpie. I've got my camera batteries in one bag. I've got my GoPro and Insta360 batteries in the other side. I've got a headlamp in here and I have a small Leatherman tool. There's also a zipper pocket on this front panel. I don't have, I don't have anything in there yet, but this stuff I just kind of chuck in and zip up. <laughs> Awesome pocket, especially for those things that I just wanna to get to quickly. I don't wanna to have to open the entire bag to get batteries out. I don't wanna to have to open it to get SD cards out. Really quick and easy access. 
right on the front. And then up from this main big pocket right on the front is this long skinny Velcro pocket. The whole thing, it's kind of a, a hard piece. You just kind of go boom. And then this whole pocket drops it goes like halfway down, so it goes pretty far down. It's a, it's a pretty large pocket. That's where I'm keeping my intervalometer. Close that back up, and then over to the side, a large water bottle pocket on this side. That's where I'm keeping the Polar Pro Apex tripod with that Joby head on it. And then there's also this, this tall, skinny pocket. It's got a really skinny zipper, goes boom, all the way down. And then that's behind my tripod, I have this big Kind of for flat items, I kind of feel like I'm gonna put passport type things in there, boarding passes, stuff like that, because it's it's a big pocket, but it's flat. So yeah, all right, that's that water bottle pocket on that side. And then on this side, there's kind of a, a halfy pocket on the bottom. Also has those two side straps that the other side has. This is where you've got your door to get into your bag for that quick access. And then in this small pocket down here, get out of there is two small carabiners on elastics. So you can kind of pull those out. Oh, also where I'm keeping a lens cloth. But I've got the Peak Design tool on there. That's where I'm keeping that thing. Remember the, the ZV-1 video where I didn't have my tool with me? I will never make that mistake again because it's attached to my backpack. And then there's another one in there and that's where I've been hooking my keys. So I just hook my keys on there and then boom, toss them in the side. Lens cloth goes in there also other other small side pocket. And then lastly for those exterior pockets is this this giant roll top. Has this super cool magnetic attachment on it that that's honestly just fun to undo and redo, but you grab this little pull tab, you pull it out and then it releases, but then oh, it already did it. <laughs> when you want to hook it, you just get it near each other and they it magnets closed. So you just pull this to get into it and then when you're ready to close it, you just go and it does it automatically. And when it's locked, it's like, it's fully locked. You have to pull down on this thing to get it up and then magnet closed. Maybe my favorite part of the bag just because it has magnets. And this, this roll top bit is, it's very big. It says it's 12 liters or that it adds 12 liters of space to the already 30 liter bag, but look how, look how far it comes. It's huge. And then it has Velcro on top to hold the whole thing closed. And then look how big that is in there. You can fit way more than 12 liters in there. It's big. I don't know where they came up with the 12 liter thing, but this is bigger than 12 liters. There's no way that's just 12 liters. So this top part has been kind of where, if we've been going out, I've been throwing a, a jacket in there, something like that. Any sort of clothing or extra stuff we have with us, I just toss in the roll top, it rolls down to however big you need, this whole thing extends and then magnet closed. Very cool. I've never had a roll top bag before and now that I've had one, I don't know that I'll be able to not have one in the future. It's just so cool to have your normal backpack full of all your camera gear, everything you normally have with you and then when you need more stuff like a towel or a sweatshirt or whatever, this whole thing just pops up, you stuff it in there, boom, back in your backpack and you're you're set to go. And then when not in use, it just rolls all the way down and, and it's on top. Roll tops, I think I've underestimated them in the past. All right, flipping this thing around, you'll see I'm, I am using the Peak Design capture clip on there. Uh, it fit a little bit better than the Polar Pros did, so I got that guy on this left strap. We've got a sternum strap, you know, like you'd expect, although this sternum strap has a whistle on it. <laughs> Very like outdoorsy adventure bag. And then the padding is, is ridiculous. It, it is the most luxuriously padded camera bag I've ever worn. Has a whole air channel up the middle, but the, the padding is serious, it's like thick padding. Like, it's gotta be like inch or inch and a half padding on there. And same with the straps. The straps are super cush. This for sure isn't your like minimalist backpack. This is a backpack with full of gear is still gonna be comfortable to wear and hike around with all day long. And this whole rear panel, like I said, opens up just like the Low Pro Pro Tactics so I can get to all of my gear at once. Oh, these zippers on here. This is the AquaGuard, YKK AquaGuard zippers, which are super waterproof. Oh, and by the way, this whole thing, all of this material is something called X-Pack, which X-Pack is a, it's for like racing sailboats. This is what they use to make sails for racing sailboats. So it's super strong and super lightweight and very durable. Do you see? 
I actually almost punched a hole in it when I fell at Lake Powell. Remember when I showed you guys at the end of that Lake Powell video that Donnie fell down the hill and he scraped up his back? I, like two minutes later, also fell down the hill, but I had my backpack on, so my backpack took the damage and I was, I was fine. I fell down too. I fell down also. Ouch. And honestly, I think if I would have had my low pro or peak design bag, I'm pretty sure, pretty sure those rough rocks would have just trashed it. And on this, it just left a little scuff on the outside and it didn't, it didn't even poke all the way through. Quite durable. All right, and opening it up, the, the first thing we have up here is on this back panel is the laptop compartment. And while it says it takes a 15 inch laptop, my 16 inch MacBook Pro fits in there perfectly, plenty of room. And then also on this back panel is these two pockets and, and they're, they're pretty clever. So these pockets is where I keep a lot of like little bits. I keep some extra cash up here, keep some extra wrenches and stickers down here. But sometimes when you pack these things full and then you have a lot of camera gear in here, you go to close your bag and the, the two things press against each other. So they made these so that they're either fully removable, you just totally take them off, or you can look at your bag and you can kind of figure out where there's good room to go and then and then put the put the pocket there. Movable pockets. <laughs> kind of genius. How my my gear is set up. This one goes up here, and this this guy goes right here, and that's a uh, that's a good setup for me. Then over to this side, the the main compartment. Let's see if we can get this thing up. Check out all the dividers. This thing is full of dividers, and it even hang on. It even came with extra dividers and extra straps, which is one of my biggest pet peeves about camera backpacks is that you get it all designed up and then you're like one of these short, you're super bummed out. So they gave you a ton in here and then they gave you a couple extras, all these cool straps to tie things down. And on these dividers, there's, there's pockets on the dividers. So you can have this in a vertical position and then also put something down in the pocket and it, and it holds it like that. The Germans. The Germans are very clever. <laughs> All right, so on to the main portion of what's in my bag. This is this is what's in my bag right now. Up top first in this kind of pocket that's it's up top, it's not in the roll top. So this whole camera system area is separate from the roll top by this divider. So I kind of have this almost shelf to put things on. And up top here, I just keep that, that little bag that I have everything in, which, which by the way, I still have my sporks in because because you should always have sporks with you when you go travel. Anyone that's out there traveling, bring sporks. Also up here is my new Mavic Air 2 remote controller. That's where I stuff that. And I stuff a, a battery pack up there just for charging phones. Down from that, this top compartment here, that's where I keep the Mavic Air 2. Over here, normally this, this microphone that's on here sits here, but I just, I put the wind muff there so you can see kind of how that sits. That sits on top of my 70 to 200 right here. The invisible selfie stick from Insta360 kind of just sits on top there. Down from that, we've got the Polar Pro Peter McKinnon filter case I keep right there. Down here, I have a 55 millimeter lens, which is kind of my go-to lifestyle portrait -y lens. I use that a lot for like Instagram photos, just for taking photos of Eleanor and Morgan. Love that lens. Over to this side, we have the Insta360 down in this bottom slot. Next over from that is the GoPro Hero 9 with snap mounts. It fits all together like that and fits in one pocket right there, super easy. Over from that is the Mavic Air 2 batteries. And then up from that is, is my newest toy. And this is the A7S III. I got, I got one with the flip out screen, which is super exciting. And this camera was in this backpack while we were riding jet skis out to find the drone, getting totally soaked. I just got this camera and, and the whole ride I was going, please, please be as weatherproof as you said you were. <laughs> And it was, we got there and everything in the bag was completely dry. Again, because of that X-Pack material on the outside, that, that sailcloth material is waterproof. So it has a waterproof membrane in it and the AquaGuard zippers just makes this whole thing super weatherproof, super durable and a ton of organization options inside. Get all this back into the place here where it goes. All right, and I think that's, that's everything. That's, get back here. 
I don't normally have my bag in the upright position like this, but this is my what's in my bag right now. Pretty much everything in here is what we go out to do shoots with. Everything in here is how is how I, I make these videos. And this is exactly how, how I have it set up. I have the whole bag set up in here. The roll top is completely collapsed when I'm not in use. I pop that thing up if I need to throw a jacket in. And, and yeah, this is my bag. I have been ridiculously stoked on this bag. And, and while I know it's expensive, the, the price is the main con of this bag. If you're like me and you're a person that is always looking for the perfect bag, if you're always on the hunt for the perfect camera bag, and if you use your camera gear as much as I do, it's, it's totally worth it for me. Inside of this bag is thousands and thousands of dollars of camera gear, so for me, it makes sense to spend that much money on the actual bag. Again, I know it's a little pricey, but yeah, with, with this much gear in there, I, I will spend the money to organize it well, to carry it well, and to be comfortable all day long while I do so. All right, and that is my that is my camera bag. That's my whole camera setup. This is everything everything that I have. This is my what's in my bag 2020. Hope this video helps you guys. If it did, hit that like button. Helps me. And uh, try hard. Take chances. I'll see you guys soon. <laughs>